Good morning. In this class, we will discuss the concepts of torsion, uh, subject that is uh, applied to elliptical cross section. In the last class, we will discuss about circular cross section. Here, uh, we will see what is the shear stress distribution and what is the warping function uh, in the case of uh, elliptical cross section. It is also a non circular cross section. So, in the case of non circular cross section, as I already told, uh, you have the warping effect. Whereas, in the case of circular section, warping effect is not there. So, here in this uh, case, we will assume the warping function as psi as a into xy. So, always uh, psi is a function of uh, x and y. So, here a is a constant. So, this is the warping function we are going to assume for uh, studying the torsional behavior of elliptical cross section. And this is the cross section. So, this uh, elliptical cross section will have two axes. One is major axis, another is uh, minor axis. Major axis length is 2a, that means this length will be a, total length will be 2a. And minor axis length will be 2b, so that half of minor axis, that is this one, is b. So, if uh, a is equal to b, then it becomes a circular cross section. So, you know that the equation of an ellipse so is uh, x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This is the equation of ellipse we have studied in mathematics. Now, let us see whether this assumed warping function satisfies the Laplace equation and also the bounding condition and all. So, the Laplace equation in torsion problem is dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square is equal to 0 or in other words you can say this has del square psi is equal to 0. So, actually if you see this uh, the first derivative of this with respect to x will be ay and second derivative of that with respect to x that is dou square psi by dou x square will be 0. Similarly dou square psi by dou x square is also 0. So, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So, automatically the Laplace equation is uh, satisfied. Now, let us see what about the boundary condition. So, in any torsion problem, in terms of warping function, the boundary condition is this. So, this uh, uh, I have discussed in the last uh, class. Dou psi by dou x minus y into dy by dx minus of dou psi by dou y plus x into dx by dx is equal to 0. So, this is the uh, boundary condition in terms of psi for any non circular cross section subject to torsion. Now, I have taken psi as a into xy, therefore dou psi by dou x will be a into y. So, we have to treat uh, y as constant when you are differentiating constant with respect to x. So, minus y and this will be dy by dx minus of dou psi by dou y will be a into x. So, a into x plus x into dx by uh, ds is equal to 0. Now, if you take y common, so y into a minus 1 dy by dx minus x common if you take x into a plus 1 dx by dx is equal to 0. Now, what I will do is, I multiply both sides by 2 here to get this form, to get this form. So, I have multiplied both the other side also by 2. That means it becomes a, uh, and I have just changed the signs. So, this side will come beginning and this side will come later. So, I have changed the sign. So, because RHS is 0, even if you change the signs in the other case, there is not, there is no any change hmm, in the expression. Now, this is what we get. So, this becomes positive, this becomes negative, multiplied by 2. Now, what I will do here is, so this uh, dx, the 2x dx, if I integrate this, 2x dx, I will get x square. And if I integrate 2y dy, I will get y square. So, what I have done here, this I can just write it as d by ds of a plus 1 into x square minus of a minus 1 into y square is equal to 0. Or, you can say, so, the derivative of this is equal to 0 means this should be a constant. So, this should be a constant. Therefore, I can write this as a plus 1 x square plus uh, 1 minus a. This, uh, this you can write as 1 minus a. If you remove this minus into into this plus, it becomes 1 minus a. Y square is equal to a constant because the integration of 0 is a constant. Now, this is in the form. Actually, if you compare this with the standard uh, Lx equation, so this will be in this form. So, if you compare these two, by comparing these two, you can write that a square by b square will be equal to 1 minus a square by 1 plus b. If by comparing these two, you can get this. So, from this, you can simplify this by cross multiplying and uh, taking the 
uh, expression containing capital A one side. Uh, so you can simplify for A as b square minus a square divided by b square plus a square. So this is the constant what we have assumed here. So this constant is expressed in terms of the major axis length and the minor axis length. So wherever A is there, capital A is there, you can write it as b square minus a square divided by b square plus a square. Therefore, psi is equal to, if you put A is equal to this, this psi expression because bar three function becomes a a into x square that is a is this b square minus a square divided by b square plus a square into x point. Now the polar moment accuracy of elliptical, elliptical section, so you can prove that is equal to this. Actually, you can prove this by taking the integration of uh, x square and y square separately. So you can try this. But anyway, here I am skipping that step. Just remember this moment of inertia of uh, elliptical cross section is j, polar moment of inertia is j is equal to pi a cube b cube divided by a square plus b square. Better remember this expression. Now we have from the torsion equation theta, which is nothing but the angle of this per unit length. So it is t by gj, we know that. So r t is equal to g into j into theta, or for this j, I can put this pi a cube b cube divided by a square plus b square for an elliptical cross section. Therefore, what I can write here is if I want theta here, theta is equal to this t this divided by g. You bring this g to a as it becomes divided by g into this because this was numerator a square plus b square divided by pi into a cube b cube. So actually, this is the expression for the angle of twist per unit length. So in the exam, then we ask this derivation. So if you have to practice this. So what is the derived expression for the angle of twist per unit length in the case of an elliptical uh, uh, cross section uh, subjected to torsion like that they are asked. So theta is equal to t by g into a square plus b square divided by a cube b cube. That is the expression for the theta. Then afterwards you have you can always find out the expressions for the shear stresses. So shear stresses there will be two key shear stresses in the case of torsion. One is tau x z another is tau y z. So all the other stresses will be zero. Sigma x zero, sigma y zero, sigma z zero, and tau x y also will be zero. Out of six, four components will be zero. Only these two will exist. Now tau y z according to the formula we have derived it. So d theta into tau sine by tau y plus x. This is the expression for tau y z. Now you know the expression for this theta. So what I can write here is so this. Uh, g into theta is this. Once again, this g if you bring to this side, so g theta will be directly. So g theta is equal to t into this much. So that directly I can write t into s square plus b square divided by a into b cube. That, that is g theta into dou psi by dou y. See, dou psi by dou y is a into x, where a is once again a b square minus s square divided by b square plus s square. That's that I have written here. So this is the thing but even a. This term is the thing but a. And uh, derivative of uh, <coughs> this uh, plus x already is there here. So what I have done here is x I have taken common. So in both the terms, uh, a x plus x that is the derivative we are going to get. So that a is there plus one uh, into x. So like that I have taken x uh, a common and I have written that I have subtracted for a. Now by taking LCM. This b square plus x square will get cancelled. So whatever is left out is this. So you are going to get tau y z is equal to 2tx divided by pi a cube b. So where t is the twist that is applied or the torsion that is, that, that is applied on the on this elliptical cross section. So the t is normally expressed in a newton meter or newton millimeter x divided by pi a cube b. So x is the distance of the point. Uh, 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 distance of any point. For example, I may take the point here. T is the point here. So this point coordinates are x and y. So from the origin, this distance is x. And this, is, this distance will be y. That means your uh, what you can say shear stress varies from point to point. So by knowing the x and y point, x y point, uh, you can always compute uh, the shear stresses. So tau y z. Uh, it depends on the value of x. So this 2t divided by pi a cube b is a constant. Similarly, tau xz is g theta into dou psi by dou x minus y. So this also uh, we know we have already derived it. So in similar times if you substitute and simplify, you are going to get uh, minus 2ty divided by 
phi a b q so here also by knowing the value of phi so this depends on y this depends on x so please note that tau phi z so this depends on x and tau x z this depends on y the reason is here this is a constant minus 2t by phi a b q because there is this b is this so that becomes a constant so only it varies with the value of y so these two are the expressions for the shear stresses and the resultant shear stress can be at any point uh, x comma y that is tau can be found out by using this formula so root of tau square yz plus uh, tau square xz if you substitute and simplify you are going to get the expression like this, this is square root of this half to the power of half you can write like this this is the resultant shear stress uh, at any point x comma y now from the resultant shear stress <coughs> always we can find out the maximum shear stress also tau max so tau max to find tau max what we do is so we are going to take the equation of the ellipse x square by x square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and from this equation x square will be a square into 1 minus uh, y square by b square now what we have to do is in this equation 1 you substitute for x square x square x square in terms of y square so you are going to get an expression like this after simplification so whatever is in brackets uh, that will be reduced to this form this 2t by phi a q b q will, will remain as it is so if you substitute for x square as this uh, so you are going to get an expression in, in terms of y square that means according to this you can see since this is uh, all the power of half that means uh, you should have a square root for this square root of this you should have it this should be a positive quantity so this value since this is a constant since this is a constant so tau max can occur only if this is maximum this will be maximum only when y is maximum because a and b are constants when y is maximum so we can write like this maximum shear stress occurs when y is maximum that is when y is maximum y is maximum here this is maximum part so this is y is equal to plus b and this is y is equal to minus b that means two values at two points uh, your y value is maximum so y is equal to plus or minus b that is it is the meaning of ends of minor axis so this is the end of one, uh, one end of minor axis this is the other end of minor axis so at, the, at those two points you can expect a maximum shear stress and if you substitute that value here so for y, y square if you substitute b square so whether it is y is equal to plus or minus b y square becomes b square if you substitute that in this uh, and simplify you are going to get finally this is the thing 2t by phi a q b q into a power 4 b square whole to the power of half you are going to get and once again this is a square into b so if you simplify if you transfer it if you multiply the common terms uh, finally you are going to get 2t divided by phi a b square yeah. so that is the expression for maximum shear stress where t is the tall a and b are the half of uh, major axis and half of minor axis so t normally is expressed in uh, newton millimeter and a and b they are in millimeters therefore this value whatever you are going to get it will be in newton millimeter square so it will be in mg or newton per millimeter square that is the expression for maximum shear stress uh, in the case of a uh, elliptical and elli 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 section subjected to torsion. So this expression you have to remember. If they give a numerical problem, you can directly substitute here and simplify to get that. Otherwise, if you ask you to do the derivation, they will ask a uh, uh, direct expression for maximum shear stress in the case of an elliptical cross section subjected to torsion. That's what they will So as a special case, if A is equal to B, it becomes a circle. So when A is equal to B, when major axis is equal to minor axis, that becomes the diameter. So it becomes a circle. If you put that, then if you simplify that here, if you put here, so if A is equal to B, this B square becomes A square. So 2D divided by phi A cube, you are going to get. So when A is the radius. This is a special case. Circle is a special case of uh, uh, that uh, elliptical cross section. Now, the displacement W in the z direction is we know that it is nothing but theta into psi. So, if you, if you take out that theta into psi, so we know that uh, psi is nothing but a into xy. 
a into x y. So where a is this b square minus a square by b square plus a square. So if you substitute that and theta is this is the theta. This is theta. So please note that. So sin is equal to this expression. Sin is equal to this expression. Theta is equal to this expression. If you put these two, so this into this theta into psi, uh, you, you are going to get this final expression. So here, of course, uh, this is uh, you can as t. T into b square minus a square divided by pi a cube b cube into g. So this is what you are going to get as when you multiply when you multiply this theta t by g into a square plus b square by pi a cube b cube with this psi, which is this. So this into this will give this. So that is the uh, expression for the displacement uh, in the z direction w. Now here, if you try to plot the uh, warping function, so you are going to get contours like this. So these are the contours. We call them as contours. So here, if you observe this uh, w, this function w, we can see b square minus a square term is there. So b square minus a square term, if it is there, then it is a hyperbola. Please note that so you have a little of hyperbola in coordinate geometry. This is hyperbola. The equation of hyperbola is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. So if it is plus it is ellipse, if it is minus it is hyperbola. Therefore, if you get an expression like this, sir, so these are all, these are all oh, hyperbola. Hyperbola. So the contours of W, working, uh, that is the displacement W, uh, will be like this. These are hyperbolas. This one set of hyperbola, this other set of hyperbola. So we call them as positive or negative. So negative is depressed, uh, that portion will be depressed uh, when it is something to torsion and these portions will be elevated when it is subjected to torsion. So this is how we can discuss the uh, torsion of uh, elliptical cross section. Uh, we have, what we have done is we have assumed a suitable working function as a, a into x y whereas in the case of circular cross section we have assumed a working function as psi is equal to some constant c and we have derived. Here it is psi is equal to a into x y. We have assumed, uh, we have proved that Laplace equation is satisfied for psi and boundary condition. According to boundary condition, if it is satisfied, then it takes the form of an ellipse. So from that uh, we got the constant a and by, by substituting this polar moment of inertia of the relative cross section in the general torsion equation beta is equal to t by dj, we got the angle of this expression for unit length. Then we calculated the shear stresses. There will be two shear stresses, tau yz and uh, tau xz, and using the formula, respective expressions. And then we calculated the resultant shear stress by taking root of tau square yz plus tau, tau, tau square xz. Then we found out the maximum shear stress also, and we have proved that maximum shear stress occurs at the point where y is maximum. So y is maximum at, at uh, minus b and plus b. They are the uh, extreme fibers from the centroid of the ellipse, elliptical section, that is the ends of polar axis. If you put y square is equal to b square in this expression, we will get the tau maximum expression as 2t by pi a b square and uh, the same expression for a central cross section by putting a is equal to b, we get 2t by pi a q. Then finally, we got the uh, w expression, that is displacement along the z direction expression as theta into psi. So by substituting expressions for theta and psi, so we can write down the expression for w, so which takes the form of a hyperbola. So we can plot the contours of those uh, working functions. So some values will be negative, some values will be positive. The negative value indicates that the cross section is depressed, uh, whereas positive value uh, represent that the cross sections are elevated. So this is what is a very important uh, derivation.